This channel and all its videos are non-profit and for the sole objectives of educational and teaching purposes only. We hope everyone enjoy and learn from them. Hello everyone, Teacher Lim here. Thank you so much for joining me and my channel. A video once again, so I will be talking about a magnet today, but uh, more of a temporary magnet using the stroke method. So, uh, of course, this topic falls under primary three science uh, in primary school, especially uh, in Singapore. So, primary three science, we learn about magnets. So, um, I think by this video, will focus, focus, sorry, focus, focus, focus on how to increase the strength of a temporary magnet. Um, how to decrease, right, or set it back to um, zero or to, um, I would say, uh, remove or get rid of its uh, magnetic uh, properties would be to, of course, like give it a, a, a light knock, you know, knock, 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 a, or hit it, uh, H-I-T, uh, you can always hit it as well, H-E-A-T, but I think it's dangerous to use fire, so you can just uh, knock it or hit it, H-I-T it. Um, because uh, we will want it to be set at zero at times so that we can make it a fair test or, or, or a good test so uh, we want to increase the strength of the temporary magnet based on what we know not based on um, leftover effects i would say so we can use a stronger magnet to stroke the magnet to increase the strength of it or we can increase the number of strokes uh, given or applied or, or stroked onto the, the iron nail or the steel nail um, to increase the strength of the temporary magnet uh, of course in the form of the iron or steel nail now before I move on to today's lesson or to today's uh, video of course credits as usual uh, pardon me there credits as usual uh, goes to Google and uh, Google Images uh, many information uh, or much information much information uh, is obtained from Google or from online search and my pictures here are mostly from uh, Google Images or if not all of them are from Google Images so uh, I think I mentioned this before in my electromagnet a video so uh, we can use uh, iron or steel or magnetic materials or objects uh, as temporary magnets uh, so one quick way to test it is to put a magnet uh, close to it if it's attracted by the magnet or if the magnet attracts it Obviously, it's a magnetic material or magnetic object. So we can use this uh, object or material uh, as a temporary magnet or an electromagnet So uh, I will demonstrate to everyone here today uh, the how the number of coins sorry how the coins was for electromagnet pardon me there how the number of strokes affect the strength of a temporary magnet so let me repeat that so how does the number of strokes uh, more or less uh, how does more number of strokes affect it how does the less number of strokes affect the strength of a temporary magnet so uh, obviously we are guessing that uh, as the number of strokes increases uh, the strength will increase and so the number of staples attracted will also increase So uh, this is the table here. I want to show it to everyone before I move on to the actual demonstration or the experiment or Experimental video. So uh, my actually uh, Of course, we obviously put it at zero first then I started to stroke it 20 times and moving on to 50 times and 80 times so uh, the question marks here, so we are hoping to see an increase in the number of staples as we increase the number of strokes. So uh, what are the results? Well, uh, let's tune in and let's go straight to the demonstration video. Hello everyone. Uh, Thanks for joining me once again to my channel and video. So I will be showing everyone that as you increase the number of strokes on the uh, iron or steel nail, you will increase it as a temporary magnet. I, I mean, increase the strength as a temporary magnet. So uh, let me show everyone how it works first. Okay, first you need to uh, 
confirm that this is a magnetic uh, object or material so once uh, is be able to one it is able to be attracted by the magnet so obviously this is a magnetic material so as we stroke right this should be the correct method you should stroke with one in one direction all right in one direction uh, so that it will be magnetized so i will i think i will stroke it uh, okay first i will not stroke it at all and we can see that uh, it doesn't attract um, any uh, staples all right it does not attract any staples all right so i will magnetize it now uh, through the stroke method i will stroke it uh, probably 20 times first so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so uh, i've stroked it twenty times so let's see if it's able to pick up yep it's able to pick up one but very briefly let's see if you can pick up more right it doesn't seem to be able to pick up more so uh just one so you can see that uh it's really magnetized okay i think it nearly picked up a second one you can this not counter is hooking on it right i really want it to be uh, attracted okay it seems not to be able to right okay almost okay but i don't think it's able to Okay, nonetheless, okay, so I will now, so 20 uh, strokes uh, actually allowed me to pick up uh, one staple. So let's take a look now if I stroke it more time. So to remove the existing uh, magnetism or, or uh, the previous effects of the stroking method, I tried to hit it on the table to remove it. So just now was 20 strokes. So I think now uh, maybe I'll move on to 50 strokes. To see the effect, all right. So I'll, I'll stroke quickly here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Alright, let's go quickly there. So I'm hoping that you can actually pick up another one. So you have to do this fast before they lose the magnetism. So yep, almost. Okay, let me separate this. Yep, you can see that at least two for a brief while. Let's see able to attract two. Right, so um, it's really not easy. Yep, I got two, but a very brief while. All right. So uh, I think as the more you do it, uh, yep. See, oh, I managed to get two. The third one I think was hanging uh, on a, another one, so it's not counted. So fifty strokes, I actually managed to get. Two, I hope you saw that. Right, so the more I try to pick up, the more it will lose its uh, magnetism. Right, it will because it's not a permanent mag, uh, actual magnet. It's just a temporary magnet. So I'm barely able to pick up two. Right, so I now even barely able to pick up one. So uh, I think I can take say safely that uh, if I stroke it um, zero times, it will be able to attract zero staples. Twenty times, will be able to pick up one staple. 
So 50 times we'll be able to pick up two staples. So maybe now, uh, maybe I should try to stroke it more times, but it will take up a while. Okay, but uh, let me do it quickly. Let me do it quickly. Okay, so let me spread out the staples more. Okay, so that later I can uh, more easily uh, pick up the staples. All right. So uh, I think I have to stroke it at least... Um, 70 times now, so it was 0, 20, and 50 times. Okay, maybe let's make it 70. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Let's make me 10 more, make it 80. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So I'm hoping that 80, we will already see the effect of attraction. Alright, it's not counted. Okay, it's hanging on to it. Oh, this looks like... Uh, it's worse, it's not even able to pick up one. Right, it seems like it's not working. Okay, I'm not even able to pick up one. Alright, so it seems like uh, stroking metal is more difficult. Uh, but nonetheless, I will keep the result as uh, zero, uh, zero, zero times of stroking. Uh, it is uh, okay. So there's only one. I'm able to attract only one. So zero times it was um, zero. Oh, I managed to pick up two. Okay. Yeah, but I think the most I'm able to pick up two. So maybe I need to stroke even more times to show the effect. So uh, zero times of stroking, uh, zero staples. 20 strokes, uh, I was able to attract uh, one staple. Uh, 50 strokes, I was able to attract two staples. And it seems like a 80 strokes will also give me two staples. Yeah. Right, two staples. I don't think I'm able to attract more. Okay, I don't think I'm able to attract more. So uh, I think nonetheless, it still does show some results that uh, the more you stroke, the stronger you will be. Okay, I think it has eventually lost its magnetism. So uh, maybe let me repeat the result. So it's like uh, zero strokes. Uh, of course, you can attract uh, zero staples. It's not being magnetized when it is... Um, Stroke, when it was stroke 20 times, uh, it managed to attract one staple. When it was uh, stroke uh, 50 times, it was able to attract two staples. But even uh, moving on to stroking 80 times, it was still only able to uh, attract two staples. So maybe the maximum strength it has is uh, um, able to attract two staples. So I, I'm hoping that maybe uh, I will do a video next time. Or subsequently that uh, have a better nail or, or even a stronger magnet uh, so that uh, I can really magnetize the iron or steel nail yeah so uh, just to share with everyone quickly so by increasing the number of strokes on the iron or steel nail and using uh, a stronger magnet so these are the two ways these are the two ways to increase the strength of a temporary magnet by the stroke method or you call it the stroking uh, it's called a stroke method uh, you, you do it by stroking it so we don't really call it the stroking method but I think it's fine it's just 
minor differences. So I'm glad uh, I'm done with this. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thank you. Alrighty there everyone, so this, uh, so that was the demonstration video. So uh, I remember showing this table to everyone just before the demonstration video. So uh, we were wanting to find out how many, num uh, how many staples will be attracted to the temporary magnet when it was given 20 strokes. Uh, when it was given 50 strokes when it, or when it was given 80 strokes. So, uh, as according to the demonstration video, so this is the information or the results or data that we have collected or we have. So, uh, you can also see that there's an increase. But unfortunately, it seems like uh, it stopped at two staples. It wasn't able to attract more than two staples. But nonetheless, these are still quite good results. So, it still does show that as you increase the number of strokes or there are more strokes given to the iron nail or steel nail uh, it will increase the number of uh, staples attracted by the iron or steel nail or temporary magnet and this shows of course the increase in strength of the temporary magnet as we give it more strokes so uh, I will end off this video here today uh, with these two very important concepts uh, as shown in the, in the demonstration part of the video, uh, we can increase the strength of the temporary magnet by increasing the number of strokes given to it, right? And uh, this was not exactly shown, but the information uh, or, or experiments that have been done before definitely does show that uh, you can increase the strength of a temporary magnet uh, by using an even stronger magnet so probably uh, let's say we have magnet A or magnet B let's say magnet A is shown to be weaker than magnet B so probably uh, one stroke of uh, using magnet B which is a stronger magnet can increase uh, the strength of the iron nail or steel nail by more times compared to a weaker magnet which I mentioned is magnet A right so uh, that's what it means here so uh, if in the demonstration video for example if I had used a stronger magnet so probably probably uh, the temporary magnet could have attracted more staples but going back to the result it seems like the the temporary magnet or the iron nail here its maximum strength was only able to attract two staples right it seems like there might be a limit to the iron nail but of course um, I always feel that sometimes uh, with more answers, in fact, there might be even more questions. So this is something worth uh, exploring. Why even after increasing it to 80 strokes, it was only still able to attract only two staples. So could this be uh, the limit of the iron nail? Or maybe we need to stroke it even more. Maybe 100 times or 120 or even 150 times. To see an increase in the number of staples that is being attracted by the uh, temporary magnet or the iron nail that's a good question or follow-up uh, experiment to do so uh, these are the two concepts here to increase the strength of the temporary magnet you can either increase the number of strokes or use a stronger magnet to stroke it so um, I hope everyone learned something here today that's all from me teacher Lim Thank you so much for watching. Take care, goodbye, and hope to catch you at my next video. See you.